Good morning, fellow Toastmasters. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Toastmaster. Honored guests. I'd like to invite you to take a couple of deep breaths and tune into my drum. morning I'd like to walk you through a five-part process that leads to change. This drum will accompany us as we go. In this process notice the energy level inside of you and in the room as we go through this process. I have a client her name is Maya. Maya is a bank manager and she joined Toastmasters about a year ago. She was told that that would be good for her presentations and for her communication skills with her employees. So she joined and she learned a lot of presentation skills and she learned everything she wanted to learn to that point. But after a year, she felt really stuck. She felt like she had learned everything and she repeated herself. The topics were always about finance and her body language was always the same. She wanted to quit Toastmasters, but before she did, she was frustrated and really in pain about that situation. She came into a session with me. Let's see how we work with Maya on her stuckness. Step one. Step one is called identification. First of all, we need to identify the problem. Someone comes who is limited and stuck in pain and frustrated, that would be the person that comes to therapy, right? I'm asking her, how does it feel to be so stuck? Show me with your body and in a drawing what it is like to be so stuck. And she freezes and gets very stiff and very rigid and makes a drawing with a person in a box. That's her. Step one, we identify what's happening to the client, to whomever you're working with. After that, step two. Deepen, we deepen the situation. Why is she so stuck? Where does it come from? She was told, I understand, by her parents, by her supervisors, by her teachers, that it is good to fit in, to not get out and be too loud, be too colorful, or be too big. Stay safe. What is it like to stay safe? Can you show me in a drawing, in movement, what it's like to stay in a safe comfort zone? There is a bubble of safety, of comfort, where everyone stays in there. Can you relate? Nice bubble of comfort. We know what we're doing and we don't break out of that. Very typical. However, she wants to get out. Step three. We're removing obstacles now. The obstacles are the bubble of comfort and the fear to get out of it. You've got fear to get out of your comfort zone? I do. So, in this phase, I am working with her in cooperation as a team, good or bad, it's a team, and I'm showing her movements of out, 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 pushing, forward, out, 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 strong movements of outward motion, ha, 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 ha. boxing, or kicking, Feel the energy has changed. The energy has changed. 10 minutes, we are moving out, forward. Yeah, moving the energy. The cheeks get red, there's more breath, there's a smile. The client starts smiling, feeling, ah, oh, this is fun. We're doing this over and over to the rhythm of this drum, and then, Release. Have you ever had a feeling?
feeling of release, it sounds like, oh, that's a release. After we've moved a lot, client feels like, ah, there's a sense of dropping into a very nice place. We're dropping and I invite her to move in relationship to this place. Show me what it's like to be here. Movements are loose, there's shaking going on, oh, and there's curves, all of a sudden, space is bigger, everything looks brighter, there's a smile and there is enjoyment. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that part in the process. I look for energy, I look for joy, and I look for smiles. After that, the way that I had it, I walked out the door many times and I didn't feel changed. It took very long, very, very long to experience change. Here we try to change faster. We really go at it. So I'm going to send her home with crayons and a drawing pad with assignments of drawing every day. Something spontaneous, loose, whatever it is, just don't care. Whatever it is, she wants to be more spontaneous, she wants to be freer, and I'm asking her to remember ah, to move out, move her body once a day, twice a day, just do this, just do that. Out and open, out and open, out and open. Ah, that's the beginning. Maya is on the path to freedom, freeing herself up, staying hopefully at Toastmasters with these steps in the process, we will continue working in our next session on freedom. We will continue to make it more clear, more precise, more amazing. We will continue to be really brave and have bravado. And we will go through the steps again to identify, to deepen, to remove obstacles, to release and to change. Mr. Toastmaster.